Hello, my lovely monthly Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. How are you? It is Lori, and I'm here to wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have a year filled with love, laughter, wealth, money, abundance, joy, bliss, all the good, positive things that you could hope for. All right, my loves. Don't forget, this is the final week. We are entering the final week to win a free personal reading from me during Libra season. So if you have not gone to my community page yet and entered, please go right here on YouTube. Go below a video. See where the little circle is. It's got my picture in it. That's my channel. Click on that. You will see home, videos, playlist. You may have to scroll to find the community tab. Once you find the community tab, you click on that and then you can see how to enter for your chance to win. All right, let's get into your reading. Let me grab my glasses so that I can see. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here for you today. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, having some fun. Life is an adventure. Make sure you're getting out there and exploring and trying new things. All right, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So things are working out for you. You're putting in energy and it's an equal give and take. So it could be in a personal relationship. It could be at work. It could be a friendship. It could be you taking on a project and whatever you're, whatever energy you're putting in, you're creating equal output. So it's very good, very good energy here. All right, let's go ahead and see if there's an obstacle or challenge to this. You're definitely balanced here, putting in really good energy. All right, the challenge here, of course, is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords, fear of losing something here. Fear, maybe you're already on a healing journey and you're afraid that if you get too involved with this and put too much energy into this, it's going to turn out like it did in the past. All right, so some of you are now in a new relationship and you're like, I've put so much energy into my past relationships. I'm, I'm barely healed from that. I hope this one doesn't turn out this way. Um, that's not a good attitude. <laughs> I know it's a realistic attitude about relationships, but if you haven't healed completely, it really doesn't make sense to enter into a new relationship. Because if you're just going to bring in the baggage from the old one, it's not going to help the new relationship at all. So be cautious of this, okay? Be cautious of bringing in um, difficulties from a past relationship. Let me hold the deck the right way, and let's go ahead and see what you are thinking about when you are aware of your thoughts. What's on your mind? What are you thinking here? All right, so it might be a bit of a challenge for you to let the past go and continue to heal. Now you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is what's on your mind. Exactly. What do I do? Where do I go? What do I want to keep? Do I want to get involved in this? Am I healing? Should I conti continue my healing process? before getting involved in this new thing, before I, I, I do feel like whatever this is, it's really good, and right now it's a beautiful, even exchange, okay? You've got concerns here that it's not going to stay that way, all right? Which, if you've got a history where things changed, then you have a reason to feel that way, absolutely. Right now on your mind is, what you want to do okay you're considering your options you're thinking about the different aspects of whatever it is you're involved in what do you want to keep what do you want to let go of and i'm noticing we have a pan pipe she's holding a pan pipe so it's almost like 
time. An energy of, I'm hearing this and I don't, I can't make sense of it. Paying the piper, okay? I know what it means, but I don't know how it relates to this reading. Paying the piper almost implies that you owe something somewhere, that you feel you owe somebody something, and that you have to pay that person, you have to take care of that obligation before you can be set free. I don't know what that means for you. Um, yeah, we're just going to leave that there. We're, we're just going to leave that there. I, I do not get that. If you do, if you do, if that's for you, please comment. Leave me a comment saying, yeah, I get it. I understand paying the piper, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what your um, immediate future is going to be here. I'm sorry, what the foundation is. We have the Eight of Swords. Now look at this, you have... The Eight of Pentacles is your first card. You have the Seven of Pentacles. Then you have the Eight of Swords and then the Nine of Swords. So Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. There is something about balance here. All right, Eight of Swords. Here, though, I feel like you're trying to find a lucky break. The foundation of the situation overthinking it, tearing it apart, not being able to put the pieces together. I mean, you really, really are looking for a solution here. Okay, now it could be the foundation of the problem is you thought about this too much. You're thinking too much. You're not experiencing. You're not feeling the emotions. You're not going through and enjoying the day-to-day -day process. And look, we have the healing color with that lavender in the background again. And that's really strong here in your challenge energy. The uh, Nine of Swords, it's very strong, very dark, a deep healing, okay? Soul healing with the way that angel is mourning over that uh, tombstone. Here, it's just like all the pieces, you know, they, they well, each of these is a scroll, so they're similar but they're not connected. So you're trying to connect something that just can't be connected. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. If you look down, if you stop looking at this and stop the overthinking, you will find that oasis, that place where you can find peace, you can find calm, all right, so maybe stop thinking about this. Focus your attention elsewhere. Let this go for a little while. Be more grounded. Get a different perspective. I'm getting that from this, too, with the Seven of Pentacles here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your immediate future. Oh, double eights, and they're balanced. All right. Oh, triple eights, and they're all in a row. Okay, so you have the eight of wands here. It says spirals, but it represents the wands. Um, as you can see from this picture, there is a, a deer, a stag, running quickly while it looks like meteors or something like that are hitting the earth with a big red full moon in the background. So there's some sort of immediate future of needing to take action quickly. Um, conversation based. But this could actually potentially um, create a situation where you need to act very quickly. Don't overthink this. The foundation is saying that you're overthinking. You're wrapped up in your head. Now's the time to take action in the immediate future. And you've got eight of pent or eight of swords, 
eight of pentacles and eight of wands all in a row. And we know that that is balance, okay? Balance within yourself. It's about yourself. Finding that balance that you require, that you need, that you're seeking. All right, let's go ahead and see what the past influences were towards this situation. Yeah, I'm hearing to let your... Take action. Stop. Get out of your head. Okay. Past influences. The Ace of Pentacles. Something was rock solid in the past. Okay. It was a new beginning, but it was solid. It felt good. It was bright. It was something you could count on here in the past. I think this may have been a person that you were involved with that maybe they're not around anymore they left things changed um and you're you're hurting you're still trying to heal from this you're trying to let the past go but somebody was your rock but i i feel with this particular energy right here i'm hearing too they were not meant to be they were not meant to be your rock you counted on somebody when you should have been counting on yourself. Hmm. That's, that's interesting too. Maybe you're starting to realize this. Yeah, I feel like some of you are coming to that realization here now. That whoever this was or whatever this situation was, you put too much emphasis on that or them and not enough on you and now that's what all this thinking is this is why you're caught up in your head and you're like i get it but i can't connect it okay all right you're still thinking it through so keep doing what you're doing because this is the good right step for you that's the right direction to go in all right let's go ahead and see how you view yourself handling this situation my ears are ringing today really kind of like a very high pitch too let's see how you feel you are going to deal with this nine of pentacles like you're ready to let it go you're ready to move on Nine of Pentacles usually talks about freedom, and I do see that here. I also see you heading into a new day. So starting fresh, confident, capable, you're on your own here, and you're supporting yourself. No matter what comes your way, you're moving on. You're counting on yourself now, which is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And I think it's it's you're really counting on yourself more than you did in the past. I think maybe you gave a little bit too much authority to whatever this was. And you're finally realizing you have the power within you. And that is beautiful. And we have double nines. We have double sevens. And we have triple eights. That's incredible. Nine of pentacles. Nine of swords. Oh, I'm sorry, I said double sevens, but it's not. It's just one seven and one ace, which would make another eight. So that would be four eights. Let's see what's happening in the environment around you. Ooh, a tower moment. A realization, an understanding, a collapsing of something here. I think somebody around you, this is your environment, okay? So there is some sort of um, possibly a division here for between you and a community, a tribe, your ideals. There's a split. I feel like there's a, an awareness, an awakening, and there's a split. So something is changing here. It's not just you. This is your environment. You are changing. You may decide to leave something behind, especially with this Nine of Pentacles here. 
whatever it is, it, it's good for you to leave it behind because it's it's not working for you anymore. There is a split. There's a dis, there's a separation. And I believe it's coming as a kind of like a, a sudden realization to you because you're in such a contemplative energy here trying to figure this out. I think it may surprise some people around you, too. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in your subconscious. When you're not actively thinking about your situation, what's your subconscious, your higher power, your intuition? What are they trying to tell you? Six of Cups. Remember the wonder, the awe, the happiness. And look, there's the pan pipe being played by somebody other than you. Okay? So you're being called back to, I'm looking at this as like the Garden of Eden, of a place of peace, a place of happiness, of awe, of, of growth. We have a bird of paradise up here. And... Notice the stones that are here that are freshly, you know, they're freshly laid out here. Whereas here, they are now the path leading to this. Oh my goodness. Your subconscious is really, really in tune with helping you get to this energy of awe, of wonder. Your intuition is like soothing you, comforting you. I love that. I love that energy. Let's go ahead and see what the most likely outcome is going to be here. This is crazy good. It's crazy different. It just feels, I don't even know how to address the energy around this all of a sudden. It's peaceful excitement, peaceful confidence, um, tempered excitement. Like, you know you just figured something out and you're excited about it. And now you want to move forward and you're not talking about it. You're focusing on yourself, your energy. Let's see what we have here as the most likely. Um, future. Outcome. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the card. You got Merlin, the hero. That's the fool. That is the fool card. A fresh start, a new beginning. We also had the Page of Wands come out. So a new focus, something a lot more fun, something you can count on, something more sure-footed, but it's fun. This page is a jester, okay? And jesters were meant to come to court to entertain. So you could be getting involved in something that is entertaining, an entertainment field. Um, I'm getting comedy, being on stage, being in front of other people to entertain. It doesn't mean to make them laugh. It means to fill their time with something that takes their mind off of their troubles. That's what it means to entertain. And here you are as the magician Merlin in the full energy here, starting fresh, but with wisdom, a lot of wisdom. I mean, Merlin is ancient, has a lot of experience, has a lot of knowledge. I don't know what you're t tapped into here, but boy, this is beautiful as an immediate future. It's a beautiful energy, fresh start, new beginning with a new focus. I love this. All right, and on the bottom of the deck as I picked it up is the Hierophant. So some sort of elevation, spiritual awakening. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so it says the visionary on here. Somebody who can see into the future. All right, I love that. Let's go ahead and see what blessings we have coming in here for you. If this is your message, don't forget to tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that brings you back in the future. And of course, if you're one of my awesome returning viewers, you know I love you guys to pieces. I appreciate each of you being here, no matter if you're a new person or a returning viewer. All right. 
you just got the star card here. So there is guaranteed success coming to you. I'm getting a brand new start, a fresh start, something energetic and beautiful and happy, healing that star energy. I'm also hearing follow your North Star. All right, grapes, it's time to go out and have some fun. Remember the page, okay? Having fun, entertainment. Get out there and put yourself out there. If it means you being on stage and entertaining other people, beautiful. Let's get you an angel oracle number here. We have 1515, creativity. Your angel whispers, keep accessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is all around. Your positive affirmation here is, Creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. 1515, creativity. All right, beautiful message there. I'm going to get you a runestone card here. And oh, we're going to get you a spirit animal too. All right, you just drew win, happiness. And I'm pretty sure you just drew this card a few days ago. <clears throat> it says here, the meaning of this rune stone is appreciate the love and laughter that is in your life already and make time and make time to value and appreciate the ordinary things that make you happy. Live fully in the present moment and celebrate being alive. I, I'm, that's what the Six of Cups was all about. Being in the energy, being in the moment, being in awe and happy. All right, the reverse of this for those who have to, he have to hear this. Give yourself permission to experience joy and happiness because life does not have to be a struggle. In fact, it should not be a struggle. Struggles temporar temporarily. But the sooner you realize you're in control, it definitely improves. So you will be most successful if you focus on what you love. All right, beautiful. Let's get you a spirit animal card here. You've got the raven, the shaman. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for the good, for your good, for everyone's good. There is power in your wisdom and your words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Connect. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Absolutely beautiful. Raven, the shaman. All right, my loves, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me and I will send you all the details. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.